Delaware Tech, Chemistry 100 only. Unit 5 continued, Chemical Yield. Chemical Yield are simple calculations where you need to determine uh, a ratio of how much you made versus how much you expected to make. So let's look at what that means. So we have uh, several terms we need to understand first. Theoretical yield. This is the maximum amount that you expect to produce in a chemical reaction. And we calculate this amount in Chem 110, but we do not calculate it in Chem 100. So I'll just give you the amount that you would expect to get in a chemical reaction. That's your theoretical yield. So it might be a certain amount of grams. The actual yield is what you really got during the chemical reaction. So you do the chemical reaction, you calculate how much you expect to get, and then you measure how much you actually got. That's your actual yield, also in grams typically, or maybe liters if it's a gas, etc. The percent yield is by comparing these two numbers. So it's the ratio of the two. You take the actual yield, how many grams you actually got, or how many mils of volume you actually got, or whatever you're measuring, how many moles you actually got, and divide it by how much you expected to get if the reaction went 100% to completion. And that's your theoretical yield. So by the number of grams or mils or moles of what you, what you expected to get. And then you just turn it into a percent by multiplying it by 100%. And it's as simple as that. So uh, your percent yield is how much you made divided by how much you should have made times 100%. For example, you made 75.4 grams of a product but calculated, and I would calculate this for you in Chem 100, you calculated that you should have made 88.9 grams. What's your percent yield? Well, you take what you, ex what you actually got divided by what you expected to get, and then multiply it by 100, and you'll notice your unit is just percent, and we call that percent yield. In this case, that would be 84.8% yield. So you got most of the way there, but it wasn't a perfect reaction. You may have lost some material uh, during the reaction, uh, during the purification. The reaction may not have gone to completion. A number of things could have happened. You may not have purified it as well as you thought. There are all kinds of reasons for that. There are also reasons why you might get a percent yield of, that's greater than 100%. So how can you make more than the maximum you should be able to make? Well, it's not that you made it, it's only that you thought you made it. So you might get a case where you get, a, uh, maybe in this reaction you expected to get 88.9 grams, but you got 95 grams instead. Well, what that suggests is that you didn't purify your material well enough, and your, your, 85, uh, your 85 grams, I'm sorry, your, your 95 grams probably has some impurities in it, and you need to clean it up better because you really shouldn't get a yield greater than 100%. It's not theoretically possible.